What's going on guys, it's Caleb here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be viewing some pool homes here in Central Florida. They're gonna be priced in the high threes to the mid 500s. So without further ado, let's go check them out. All right guys, so we're at our next property. This property is located in St. Cloud, Florida. It is in the Sawgrass subdivision. This home was built in 1999 and it has 1,800 and 57 square feet of interior space it is on a 0.25 acre lot and the cool thing about this house guys it has a gorgeous pond view which i'll get to here shortly it has three bedrooms two baths you have a monthly hoa of 35 dollars and 42 cents a month you have annual taxes of 2600 dollars a year and the current asking price for this home is 399,000. And this is also an open door owned property as well. So let's go ahead and ch check it out. All right, so as we get in, tile flooring all throughout, there is no carpet in this home whatsoever. And as you can tell, it is a very, very open floor plan. So very, very open floor plan and two, that's the look to the um, right. And then to the left, we have our first two bedrooms, which we'll just start out with here. So here's a look at the first two bedrooms. Obviously the paint could be changed. It has some different color paint than what people would probably like now, but that's an easy fix. All right, so here's a look at our first full bath. You have a stand-up shower. And that one is shared with this bedroom as well. So your first two bedrooms are right here. You have the sliding glass door that leads out to the pool. And here's a look at this space. Good sized bedrooms. And they also have high ceilings as well. So let's go ahead and continue the tour. And uh, Go ahead and show you guys the kitchen. Here's a look at the kitchen. Very spacious kitchen as well. Granite countertops. You have an island right in the middle. It also has additional tons of cabinet space. You have cabinet space there. Then you have more cabinet space here as well. Um, you have stainless steel appliances. So look at that. Then you also have this area would be good for a breakfast nook. And then right through this garage to the left, or right through that door, excuse me, is the garage. I'll just go ahead and show you guys that real quick. Your garage, and then it also has storage, a little storage area as well. So good sized garage. And then if you notice, you have a pretty cool light feature right there. So let's go ahead and check out the last bedroom, which is the primary bedroom on the opposite side of the house. So obviously you have access to the pool and lanai through here, which is great. But here is a look at the space of the primary bedroom in this home. And we'll go ahead and check out the bathroom, which is a lot smaller than what I expected but um, there's a look at your soccer tub that has jets, stand-up shower, and then right behind me is your walk-in closet. All right, so that will do it for the inside tour. Let's go ahead and check out the back of the house, which I feel is the best feature so you have a beautiful pool completely enclosed in screen lanai and look at that view and you also have a nice size pool as well you have some palm trees so it has some some character to it and then also if you notice there's lights up here as well so it will look really good at night and then you also have additional green space as well so you have additional green space and then as you can see here it's completely undercover here. So when it rains every day at four o'clock here in Florida, you can still be outside until 
the rain passes and uh, still enjoy the outside. So there's this is also your property as well. So you have the traditional green space. Then there's a look at the pond as well. So very beautiful and uh, great community, very quiet, safe area. And I um, feel like it would make a good house for, for a family. So that will be it for this tour guys. And we'll see you in the next one. All right guys, so this property is located in Apopka, Florida. It's in the Clear Lakes Estates gated community. You have a monthly HOA of $86 a month. You have annual taxes of $3,514 a year. This property is a three bedroom, three full bath house. It was built in 2005. You have 2,813 square feet of interior space. As you notice, you have a nice big driveway here. You have a three car garage. I love the exterior of this home has a lot of character to it. And um, this property is currently priced at 450,000. So let's go ahead and take a look. I love the walkway where you have beautiful landscaping. Everything looks great. This property is actually owned by Open Door. So it's being sold by Open Door. And uh, it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and take a quick tour. Close the door. All right, so as we enter to my right, we will find the dining room. And then as we pan to the left, we find our den slash office. I guess you could use it as a family room as well, just because it has it is very, very spacious, which you can see right there. You only have carpet in that room that we just left. Um, everywhere else is either hardwood or tile. So here's a look at the first full bath. And as we continue, we'll go right into the living room, which is a very nice size, all hardwood flooring. Then you got tile in the kitchen. And then to my, uh, to my right, we'll see the kitchen right here. It's a pretty open floor plan for the most part, so I think that's great. You got granite countertops, you got 42 inch wood cabinets, Sans Samsung appliances, and then you have your island right in the middle with additional storage space there. So look at your pantry. And as we continue, We'll find our washer and dryer room right here. Then we have the garage access right there. So let's go ahead and check out the first and second bedrooms. This is actually kind of cool because this space here actually separates room number one and then to my left is room number two. So I've seen people put TVs on the wall there, use it as a game room or even, you know, as a kid's play place or anything like that. So I think it's kind of cool how it separates the two bedrooms. So here is bedroom number one. Look at bedroom number one. I'll open the closets real quick for you guys. Just a standard closet. And as we continue, we'll find bedroom number two here, which is also a good size bedroom. And we'll find our second full bath, which those two rooms share. You got a stand up or you got a uh, shower tub combo and you got a door that leads out to the backyard and the pool area. So that was that. You notice you have nice, I love the windows here. You got nice big windows. And then right across is the primary bedroom. Beautiful primary bedroom. So I'll go to this corner here so you guys can see the space. Very nice space, hardwood flooring. You got sliding glass doors there that lead you out to the pool. Then we'll go into 
the primary bathroom. There's a look at closet number one to my right. And we'll find closet number two to the left. We got double sinks. A soaker tub, and then you have your stand up shower, which is right here. And lastly, guys, let's go ahead and check out the pool area. All right, so upon Entering the pool area, you've got a nice undercover lanai, plenty of space, space here. Then you have your spa and then a beautiful, beautiful pool, fully enclosed as you can see. Love the landscaping, no rear neighbors. You've got a pond view. So that looks like that will be all for this tour guys. And we'll see you at the next one. All right guys, so this next house that we're gonna go see is in the Soloterra community here in Davenport, Florida. It is a five bedroom, four full bath home. It was built in 2019. It has 2,492 square feet of interior space. It has a saltwater pool. It is now a short term rental. So it's actually really, it's a really good property for my viewers who are looking for a second home um, to either come down and vacation at and then while you're away, just rent it out and it basically pays for itself. So you have a monthly HOA of $175 a month and that covers your landscaping and also gives you access to the pools and gyms and all the amenities that they have here. So um, close the door. This property is currently on the market for 509,000. So let's go ahead and check it out. You see you have vaulted ceilings here in the foyer and then to my left, this door will give you access to the garage and then you have some storage for shoes and coats right there so as we proceed you have tile flooring and then we'll go right into your living room your kitchen and then also your dining room as well so here is a look at the living room we'll go right into the dining room here We'll go to the left, show you the kitchen where you have a nice big island, uh, granite countertops, uh, wood cabinets, and then you also have a gas cooktop, which is cool because a lot of builders are not doing gas. So if you are a gas person, that is definitely a plus. And uh, what I also like about this property is you have a bedroom on the first floor. Here is the bathroom that's actually attached to it. So you can get to your this bathroom through this door right here. And then also they have another door, which I just went through that will give your guests access to a bathroom on the first floor. So here is the first floor bedroom. It's a good size bedroom. And then I'll show you the closet real quick. Look at the closet. And as we continue, let me go show you guys the pool. Always stay humble and kind. Isn't that the truth? All right. All right, so we are outside in the back. Has a kind of a half uh, covered lanai, which is better than nothing. Then you have a completely enclosed pool. And uh, here's a look at your pool. This one is a saltwater pool. So it is a saltwater pool, definitely a good sized pool. So let's go ahead and uh, continue and show you guys the remaining bedrooms upstairs. So the only thing I don't like about this house is there's carpet, especially upstairs. I mean, I think there should be carpet in the bedrooms, but I would probably do tile or something else, be a little bit more durable and you know, won't get dirty as quick. But as we get to the top, to my left, and then also to my right, we'll go right into our next bedroom.
Again, very good sized bedroom. And then you have your attached bath, stand up shower. And then right next to it, this would actually be the primary bedroom, but what they did is they put two beds in here so that they could accommodate more guests. But it is a very, very, very big room. Here is the attached bath, double sinks, stand up shower. Then you have a walk in closet. And these rent typically for a couple hundred dollars a night. So it's definitely not a bad investment if you're you know, looking for a second home, like a lot of people are. So to my left is our next full bath, which is pretty identical to all the other ones, except for that has a shower tub combo. And then to my right, we'll have the laundry room. So I do like the fact that they have their own separate room for laundry. I think that's great. And then we'll have the final two bedrooms right here at the end. There's that. And this is also being sold fully furnished as well. So there's really not much you have to do unless you wanna you know, take the carpet out or do anything like that. But as far as furniture, uh, it all stays. So that will be it for this tour guys. And uh, we'll see you at the next house. All right guys, so our next house on the list is in Dover Shores. It is in the downtown Orlando area. It's only about 10 minutes away from downtown Orlando. This home is completely renovated from top to bottom, so it is absolutely gorgeous what they did. It was built in 1958, and it has three bedrooms, two full baths. It has a beautiful kitchen. Everything is completely renovated. It has 2,005 square feet of interior space and it is on a 0.21 acre lot. It has zero HOA and it's currently on the market for $530,000. And the annual taxes are $3,972 a year. So there's a look at the front porch. I love all the pieces that they have. And then also this door as well. So let's go ahead, take a look inside. All right, so upon entering, this is an older home, so it's going to have a lot more different floor plan than the more um, modern homes are today. So immediately upon entering, you go right into your living room, which you have a fan, and then you also have an electric fireplace, and then right above it, that's where you can put your, your TV. Got floating shelves there. And then as I pan over, you go right into your chef's kitchen. I love the wood pieces that they have that are incorporated in the design. So as you can see, once you get into the kitchen, very, very beautiful kitchen, gorgeous backsplash. You got white wood cabinets, quartz countertops, a really, really nice size island. Then you have a, um, a beautiful sink. And there's your oven and also your microwave with uh, with uh, really, really gorgeous light fixtures. So let's go ahead and uh, start the tour over here. I'll show you guys the first two bedrooms. There's absolutely nothing you have to do in this house besides move in. So here is bathroom number one here. Got a shower tub combo. As I continue, we'll go ahead and show you the first bedroom here, which is a very, very spacious bedroom. Let me open the closet for you guys so you can see the closet space. And then right across, we'll find bedroom number two here. is about, so that's, I believe it's a little bit smaller than the first bedroom I showed you guys. So let's go ahead and continue the tour. There's a look at the living room and then to my left is your kitchen. 
have your washer and dryer room right here, right through this door. Washer and dryers do come with this purchase. And then let's look at your two car garage. I love the ceilings with the exposed wood. Close the door. As we continue, go ahead and go to the primary bedroom, which is on the right here on the opposite side of the house. So here is a look at the primary bedroom. You got high ceilings. And check out this bathroom here. You got double sinks, tile flooring, got a soaker tub, beautiful stand-up shower. And we'll go and check out the closets. There's the light. So there's closet number one right here. It's a good size closet. I actually didn't expect it to be that big, especially in a house that was built in the 50s. So then here's closet number two, which is quite a bit smaller, but still bigger than what I expected. So let's go ahead and check out the back yard space. I believe that's all that we have left. And look at that, you have a pool, very big pool. Then check out your backyard. Got plenty of room for pets. Good amount of green space. Brand new wooden fence. And you are in a fabulous location, like I mentioned before. Only about 10 minutes away from downtown Orlando. So if you do work in the downtown Orlando area, this property would be be very very convenient so that will be it for this tour guys and uh hope you enjoyed all right guys so we are at our next property this property is located in the providence gated community here in davenport florida this home in particular is a five bedroom three full one half bath home you have uh 3224 square feet of interior space you're on a 0 0.22 acre lot you have annual taxes of $4,034 a year. And this house is currently on the market for $520,000, built in 2012. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. This is a open door property. So they did go in and do fresh paint, new carpet, and things like that. So as uh, we get right into the house, you notice to my right, you go right into the dining room. And then as I pan to the left, you see your stairs there, and then you have your family room as well. So let me show you the space of the family room. Got three nice windows here to let in a lot of natural light. So that is always a good feature. So here we go. We are in the dining room now, which is also a nice space. You can either go through that way to get to the kitchen and also that way as well. So we'll just go through that way. But first we're going to go to the left and I'm going to go ahead and show you the washer and dryer room here. Here's the washer and dryer room. And then you also have your half bath right here on the first floor. And then right through this door is the garage. So, Let's go ahead and move forward. We'll go right into the kitchen here, which is you have dark wood cabinets, dark granite countertops, and uh, stainless steel appliances. So it's a very spacious kitchen as well. You have a lot of counter space, as you can see. And then right behind it, you have your living room. But first, before we get to the living room, you have your primary bedroom on the first floor, which I always think is a really good feature to have in a two-story house. A lot of people like it. 
So here is a look at this room size here. We'll go right into the bathroom where you have your double sinks, your soccer tub, your stand up shower, and then you have your toilet right through there. Then lastly, we'll go see the walk-in closet. And also you have additional closet space further down. So it's kind of like a little surprise, but it definitely has a good amount of closet space. So let's move forward and uh, let me show you guys the pool and then we will head upstairs. All right, so we are here in the back of the home, fully undercover lanai all through the whole length of the home, which I think is great. I love when they do that. And here's a look at your custom pool here. You got a water feature, as you can see, and then you also have a little area here where you can actually just stay in the pool, have a drink, kind of has like a table right there with an umbrella, as you can see. So we'll just go ahead and uh, continue the tour as I believe that is it for the uh, for the pool area. So let's go ahead and go upstairs and I'll show you guys the remaining bedrooms. Like I said in the beginning, you got brand new carpet up here. A lot of people aren't a fan of carpet, but this carpet is brand new, so you don't have to replace it right away if this home is something that you liked. So right at the top, you have a loft space right here, and then we have the first two bedrooms right here to my right. So let's go ahead and check those out. Good size bedroom, good size closet as well. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. And this is basically the same, so that's good. Good sized bedrooms. And then here is a look at the loft space. And then you have another bedroom right behind it, which is a little bit bigger than the first two. It just looks like the closet space is a little bit smaller. And here's a look at our next full bath upstairs. Then we'll get to our fifth bedroom right here. Let's look at the closet real quick. And one thing that I really like about this house is it has a bonus room and I think a lot of people would appreciate that. Here's a look at the final full bath. Nothing special, but it is clean and it does the job. Here is the bonus room. Then you got those nice three big windows to let in a lot of light, but it's a really good room. Maybe a game room, kids area. You can do a lot here. So that will be it for this tour guys. All right guys, that will be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.